uh, what's happening in the furniture business. Uh, when they put the 10% uh, duty on in September, uh, a lot of the factories then already started moving to Vietnam, Malaysia, or wherever. So, uh, you know, what happens in the real world is uh, products going to be made that's, where, it's, where they can make it the cheapest. The sad part of it is it's going to raise the prices. Uh, we have, uh, when the 10% came on, we did not raise any of our prices. Between the Chinese uh, vendors and us, we actually ate the, ate the, uh, the 10%. So we didn't have to raise any prices. With the 25%, we're going to have to raise some prices. The small business, a lot of them, probably going to have to go out of business. And that's kind of sad, because my heart's with small business. I started as a small business, and my heart's with small business. And I hate to see small business get hurt. But the tariffs hurt small business much more than the big businesses. This administration is obviously talking about make it in America. So that, that obviously has you know, one part of a solution, but it's a simplistic solution. The reality is you can't turn a supply chain that quickly, and we can't supply in the U.S. everything that we need. Now it's finished goods that are really getting impacted. That's going to hit the average American that is actually going out to purchase goods on an everyday basis. And at 25 percent, that can't be absorbed by the companies that are bringing it in. It's going to get passed down. You know, the World Trade Center has a help desk here in Denver, and we get calls every day ranging from, you know, what's my new tariff today versus yesterday? and uh, how can I mitigate these uh, increased tariffs? So we, we've been helping companies rework their supply chains, understanding regulations both here in the U.S. and also in the country they're doing business. Um, but a lot of people are really concerned.